Hey guys, I'm Radek from Lomli and now I will show you the best extensions for Visual Studio Code for frontend and backend developers. If you are new, give the subscription, give thumb up and let's go! So, as everybody of you know, Visual Studio Code is one of the most popular code editor, especially if you are a JavaScript developer. Most probably you are using Visual Studio Code. Some of us use like Intel JS or something different, but most of us will use Visual Studio Code. And in this episode, I will show you 15 the best extensions that will organize your work, that will help you to write better code and faster code. Let's start from the first one. This is an essential extension for every frontend developer. You don't have to waste more time for writing every HTML tag manually. Isn't it true? It's enough to put only tag name like div and press enter. Or you can even add a few tags which you would like to be nested like ul or li or a and press enter. What's important, this extension has all of HTML5 snippets, that's very, very helpful. Let's talk about JavaScript ES6 code snippets. In the previous point, you could notice that snippets are handy and can help to prevent lots of spelling bugs and can make coding much faster. Each frontend developer works mostly with JavaScript. To speed up my JavaScript coding, I use JavaScript code snippets. It also supports TS, TSX and even JSX files if you use React, for example. Here it works similar, for example, to create export default class code, it's enough to put ECL, for example, and press tab. Easy, alright? To find out more code shortcuts, text a look at the extension documentation. There is a lot of settings that you can do to work with your performance much much faster that can save a lot of your time. As we have something for HTML and something for JavaScript, something for CSS would be useful as well. Isn't it true? Especially if we are front-end developers. CSS Peak is an extension supporting HTML and JavaScript files, like .js. It helps to quickly find and check styles applied for selected class or IDs. It's beneficial for developers who don't like to switch between different files or split the screen. So, as you can see here, you can highlight and like class or ID, click and you will immediately get style for this class. It's fantastic! If we are in the code snippets area, it would also be good to mention about extensions for the selected framework. A lot depends on which framework you are using. For example, for Angular there is an extension called Angular Snippets, now it's version 11 created by John Papa, but Angular has a new release for every version of the framework, so you need to update the snippets as well. It provides us code snippets for TypeScript and HTML. For React.js there is excellent extension ES7 React, Redux, GraphQL, React Native snippets. It provides code snippets for React and Redux using ES7. And it works in a similar way to JavaScript snippets with tab button. But for Vue.js there is a great extension called Vetour. It has almost 20 million downloads, so it brings a lot of functionalities and it's very very helpful. It gives us like code snippets, linking and errors checking, formatting, debugging or highlighting the syntax. It looks very very impressive. ESLint. It's the king of the clean code style. 
If you want to create a friendly, readable, clean code, it's a great idea to install ESLint into your Visual Studio code. This will help you to stick to standard practices like indentation, for example, or adding spaces, commas. It's up to you how you will set up ESLint, but you can use something like your own setup or you can go into something like predefined styles like for example from Airbnb. It works like if you do too many spaces, too many tabs or will not return from any function, it will immediately show you alert. And what's better about ESLint, you can even set up it as you cannot commit or it can work like if you are saving file, it will automatically fix your linter so it saves a lot of time. Area right there, code formatter. If we talk about Parity code, it's worth to install the Parity extension in your code editor. Parity is excellent, especially if you are working on the project with other developers. It removes original styling and puts on the consistent code style. Actually, Parity works as well like you can auto format your code, for example, when you are saving or if you will use any method like for example format code you will in visual studio code you will get immediately formatted code by your settings for if you previously aligned it with ESLint you can make a setup for that and immediately your code can be formatted in this way for me it saves a lot of time and my code looks much more clear now let's talk about git lens as I mentioned at the beginning, the Visual Studio Code has a Git integration. We can make it even better install a Git Lens extension. It allows checking who created each line of, la of code when it was created and it allows us to go to commit details quickly. It's beneficial in case of working in a team of developers to understand the code history easily. For example, if you see something is not clear in your code, you can go into the code and check by git lens every line of code who created these lines or that feature and you can immediately ask your colleagues from team to explain you how it works and what you can do and what you shouldn't do. Auto import is one of my favorite extensions which automatically imports files. You don't have to do it manually anymore. It's excellent primarily if you work on a component-based project, like for example with a React, Angular or Vue. It's enough to put the component's name and the plugin will import it. it sometimes you need to look for different extensions that uh, are responsible for auto importing because sometimes it doesn't this one doesn't really work with your type of project i cannot tell you why it's that sometimes it's with typescript sometimes with jsx sometimes pure js and not always it will work sometimes it will import randomly so i would suggest you to test a few of them but they are fantastic if you have the correct one for your project, they can save a lot of your time. This plugin actually is kinda similar to the auto import, but works in a bit different way. You can see here how it works. And if we are in the area of imports, there is another great extension, which will help you if you need to import something manually or place a link to a different file. Path Autocomplete extension provides path completion. While you start typing your path, probably with dot slash, you will notice a drop down with folders to select. It's crazy helpful because you don't have to dig in your files and search the correct path. Final new line. Sometimes you have to remember about adding a new line to your document and final new line comes with a helping hand here. Every time you will save the file, it will insert a new line at the end of document. It's very helpful, but actually I now uninstalled it because I use Parettier that is configured for always auto add the new line on the end of my document, so I don't need to have both of them. I decided to uninstall it, but if you don't use Parettier or you have no need for that, final new line will be very useful for you. Bracket pair colorizer helps us to find the closing bracket of the current block of code. It sometimes happens that at the end of your file or function, you have more than one or two closing brackets. 
and it's not so easy to find the correct one then. If you are using the bracket pair colorizer plugin, every starting and closing bracket has the same color for one block of code. So if your opening tag is blue, your closing tag will be blue as well. It's very very helpful because very often you need to click on the brackets and see by highlights which one closes that and here you have just color. Indentigator is an extension for Visual Studio Code which visually highlights current indent depth. It allows distinguishing easily different levels of a different block of codes. Depth is marked with small dots and line. And if you can see now if we are in some of the like if or for loop or function, immediately we see which one is it by highlighting the vertical line. It's very helpful and give you a lot of visibility. It's the excellent plugin for debugging. Wouldn't it be perfect if we could debug in the console like in the home browser? It's possible with debugger for home plugin. It supports settings, breakpoints, stepping, debugging evil scripts and more. If you are tired of switching from files in the code editor to debugging console in the browser, it's a great plugin for you. That's a great extension that will let you control your JavaScript bundle size and it's especially helpful when you plan to split your code into small chunks. For example, if you use Webpack for, for lazy loading. Some of the libraries you import can wait a lot. Sometimes one library can be heavier than the whole framework. For example, there are libraries like, for example, Holodash or Moment, they are huge and of course you can do like partially import so you can avoid the problem with performance but sometimes you can forget about it or sometimes you can need a lot of them so always it's good to to see how big your library can be if they're that huge you need to be aware of that import cost extension will show you the library's exact size full size and the like gzipped one that is packed and most of the servers will pack your files so they will be served packed and they will be smaller clean code is one of the most important factors that you should care about when building software and how you manage imports will have a huge impact on your code quality. I saw in projects, for example, randomly put that imports like during the file inside the classes, it can make code messy very easily. Luckily, we can use a very helpful extension named sort imports, which manages your imports simply and correctly. That extension will sort all of your imports in order and put all of them on the top of the file. What's better, that extension will group all of your imports as well. Congratulations, now you know 15 the best Visual Studio Code extensions for frontend and Node.js developers as well. Not only, but mostly JavaScript developers. And if you are new in the channel, remember about subscription, about giving thumbs up that will help us to grow channel. And I would like to invite you for the next videos. Bye!